Today, I'm going down Monk's Walk as the UK's next tallest roller coaster is nearing completion. So let's jump right into it. Hello everyone, my name is Alex from Official ABF. It's been a long, long time since my last video. So uh, last one was actually uh, Jack's event, Silkstone Unlocked. I'll leave that up in the top corner now for you guys to go check out because it was a absolutely amazing event. But even though it has been a month since my last video, it means a lot has changed over here down Monk's Walk and the site of Hyperia, the UK's next tallest roller coaster. I've been seeing updates on social media and stuff like that and I thought, okay, it's been long enough now since I've last been to Monk's Walk, so I may as well go check it out for myself. And here we are. Uh, and now we're gonna ha have a look down here at the latest construction as it is getting a lot bigger and it's nearing completion. There is really not that much left. Although that being said, there is the tallest point of the ride which is yet to be constructed. So uh, just looking at it now, it is amazing. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because I will actually come down here more often now. Be sure to turn on notifications as well as I will be down here you know, often enough, uh, more often than I have been recently at least. Well, it's safe to say that a lot has happened since my last visit. Seeing as the last time I came here, they were just putting in the white pieces of track. They've now got this whole thing behind me. There's a whole lot over there as well. Um, it's safe to say they've been putting on a lot of pieces of track and progress is going well ahead. And I'm just really impressed. This whole piece, this whole section right here, I guess is uh, the brake run because it goes over that hill and then there's like brake fins so they're already starting to put in some of the the hardware for the uh for the station and all that type of stuff we've start, started to see the brake run and i think the lift hill as well or part of it um i'll see i'll have a clearer view a little bit further down the path i cannot believe how much it has changed since my last visit like just looking at those pieces here not only is almost the end segment pretty much done I can't really see too well. I'm sure there's a lot more bits and pieces to connect them all together to still be done, including the highest point on the ride, or, you know, the lift hill. So the first, the first drop is yet to be completed. However, I feel like the majority is pretty much done. There's even this uh, support structure over here that obviously wasn't there before. So that's gonna be something else to look at later on. Wow, 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 wow. It's safe to say, this is gonna be one hell of a coaster. Right, so after a little while and a little bit of a better look into the construction site, not only now can you see the maintenance shed and then obviously before that is the station. They've actually started putting in the first piece of the track that people will actually get to go on. There's an outer bank turn to then get to the lift hill. I don't know and I can't quite see if the lift hill is or has been started, but I know at least the, uh, the outer bank turn has been, has been put there. So at least the first piece of the track that people will actually ride on and get to experience are in there so it means that the tallest part is probably going to get started pretty soon i can't quite see into the site at the moment because sadly that building there is uh blocking my view as the last time i was here that didn't have any of the walls up i could see pretty much straight through it it was just a support structure really so uh sadly i now need to find a better spot to look into the site a bit more Thank you. 
So, uh, you may have heard that there's a few different renovations and things going on at Thorpe Park recently, and that is obviously all this side with all the new, with all the current rides and attractions like Stealth, the Swarm, Colossus, and specifically around Angry Birds Land or what used to be Angry Birds Land. So we'll discuss that a little bit further down, um, as there are some big, big changes happening. Well, as I was saying, since my last video, Thought Park have uh, initiated something called, I think, Project Sparkle or the Sparkle Project. But essentially, it's just a lot of time and money going into like sprucing up all the rides and attractions. I would assume that's like things being cleaned. And at the moment, uh, they posted on Facebook that I think Colossus is finishing off being painted uh, to be back to its normal like bright blue colour. Around the park, we've also been seeing stuff. I think there's new new uh, information screens like in the queue lines and stuff like that, uh, at least around Stealth and I think at Inferno as well there's new screens because there's always those like boxy ones that don't really work all, all that often. Speaking of uh, an old area, getting some, getting some uh, much needed TLC, we should talk about the kind of Amity Cove area, what was known as Angry Birds Land. As you may know, it's being rethemed into what Thorpe are calling Big Easy Boulevard. I'll put in some uh, concept images on screen uh, as it should be looking so pretty close to that. With the Angry Birds 4D cinema being completely changed as well as Detonator and the Dodgems. So hopefully it should be kind of a continuation of how Amity Cove is um, and kind of just flow a bit better because it's definitely a much needed upgrade I think because Angry Birds was just a bit of a weird, a weird theme, wasn't it? Like because looking at the concept images and obviously the construction that they've started recently, it's it's looking it's looking pretty good. Of course, they've got to take down a few of the things. They've taken down the main like Angry Birds archway uh, facade thing. However, the 4D cinema thing still stands, um, and I'm sure Detonator sign is still up there with the the, the Angry Bird character. But yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we get another update uh, from the Big Easy Boulevard construction. Um, but I've got to say, 2024 is shaping up to be a big year of changes, not just with Hyperion on its way. So another thing I should mention, on the topic of uh, changes here at Thought Park, of course one of the biggest changes is of course the Thought Park logo going on under a refresh. Of course we all know and love the infinity sign here. Um, and that has been the logo for the past, oh I think longer than over, t over the past 10 years if not longer. And it's been like kind of like staple for, the, for Thought Park for quite a while including like the, you know, the Ghost Train one being kind of like creepy and blue the fright nights one it's been part of their like branding and merchandising for quite a while so that whole uh, li like logo and design language has been part of their name for quite a long time in the past couple of weeks i think it was maybe a week or two ago and recently they unveiled the new thought park logo which looks like this now, in my opinion, it's quite a difference from what we were used to and a lot of people were reflecting that and saying, you know, bring back the Infinity logo and things like that. And people were actually quite horrible towards the Thought Park in general. Um, and I don't think as much as, yeah, I don't personally like the logo as much as the old one. I still, I'm going to get used to it. And I like the branding. They have um, these little concept images of new posters and things like that. And I, I like that whole design language. That's very modern and it feels very like, it, it, you know, it, it goes with a theme park, but the actual logo itself, at least in my opinion, doesn't really give off a theme park kind of vibe. My final thoughts on it are, you know, I'll get used to the logo. I don't think it's gonna be my favorite one. And I think it's gonna take some getting used to. It's quite, it's quite a, a different logo to what we're used to. It doesn't feel very vibrant. Um, unless obviously they're going to change it uh, for different seasons and things like that. But how, how they're going to change the logo 
uh, around the events will be quite interesting because we all know that Fright Nights has like the infinity loop with all the blood and stuff out of it and so does like Mardi Gras and Carnival they always had like the the themed infinity loop but how they're gonna bring in the new logo or something like that with the new events or whatever events may be lined up for next year it's hard to say I uh, will keep my fingers crossed and I'll remain optimistic for the future as we have a lot of things to look forward to and of course you can't have new things without there being some kind of change as we know Hyperia is coming as uh, Logger's Leap and Old Town have been changed of course people were upset to see Logger's Leap go the same way people are upset to see the Infinity logo go but now we have something better to replace it you know we've got to remain optimistic of course the logo is very different but I don't think it's the end of the world so I'll remain optimistic and see how they actually implement it into the park and like the whole like design thing of how they're going to brand it and how they're going to use it around the park I can see so much. Wow. You guys should come see it too. Look at this. Whoa. Levitating. Yeah, you can see all the way over to X from here. So, uh, I've now come down towards the Hyperia site, like the, the lower half of it, and I've been joined by... Hello, Jeepers. Theme Park Gallum. It's very muddy. It's been a long time since you've been on the channel. Well, actually, you're I in the... I don't think I've even been on the channel, you, like. Yeah, surely. Oh. Surely in my like, opening day blog or something like that. But I'll leave his socials down in the, in the yeah. uh, link in the description. Please. So please go ahead and check him out. He does some absolutely banging photos. Oh. Uh, but we're here now down the uh, look, at, Thank look you. at the Hyperia site so uh you haven't been down here in a little while so what what are I, your thoughts well last week let's walk a talk i haven't yeah. been down here since february well there's an entire roller coaster kind of not really the entire roller coaster. I mean, more or less yeah it's pretty much done uh, yeah i mean well there's a lot more of a roller coaster than there ever was before down here now yeah uh which is crazy but yeah it's looking mental to be honest i mean that oh i can't believe that that's yeah beyond beyond me to be honest but uh it looks insane doesn't it can't, does. can't wait to actually like get on and ride it now I can. yeah yeah i can't wait to experience that element it's gonna be fabulous yeah really. let alone being that high up and just having the view around you as well All right, so it's been a little while since I've last done a vlog segment, but since then, as you've seen from the previous shots, there's been another piece of track. This, I think this white one just over here, above where I'm pointing, it's been put in recently, uh, in the last like five minutes of uh, recording. Yeah, they're getting that last piece just about done. You can see they literally just have to bash it in by hand to make sure it's like actually I guess correctly in the right in the right spot. We're gonna stick around for a little bit longer, uh, and hopefully, yeah. hopefully, uh, one final piece gets put in for today, uh, and we'll be, we'll be able to capture that. Because I haven't been here in so long, it's nice to see so much of the construction that's taken place since my last visit. So fingers crossed, I can come down again a bit sooner after this video. So I've now come to the lovely Thorpe Park entrance 
to finish off my vlog from Monk's Walk. Obviously, the park is still sadly closed, and I can't... Actually, I think I can walk into the park. I don't, I don't know why, I don't know why I would. To finish off my vlog from Monk's Walk, um, and I think this will be the last time I'm actually going to be able to see that logo, probably before the new year, unless I come down here again on my next time down to Monk's Walk. But, yeah, because this logo is going to be changing, as I mentioned before. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It's been a very, very interesting one, of course, from the site of Hyperia, looking into it and seeing the construction going along very, very well so far. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. All your support helps the channel out so, so much, and I really, really appreciate it. A huge, huge thank you to everyone who's been watching all these videos and keeping up to date with whenever I come down to, to the Hyperia site. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here from the Thought Park entrance. So thank you all very much for watching. My name is Alex from Official AVF and I will see you in the next one.